What's going on, folks? What up, what up? Ladies and gentlemen, episode what, 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 80. What's the deal? Two. Yep. 82 of the ITC podcast, man, with one of the dopest, mm-hmm. funniest, most entertaining, legendary, yeah. you feel me, sports commentator, yep. comedian, mm-hmm. creator yep. on YouTube. And he's a bad guy as well. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Chisel yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, right, right. Well, thank you for having down. me. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Saying such it. kind words. Of course, man. Mm. Of course. Words I'll wire you the payment. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. It's dope to have Chisel in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, y'all seen some videos uh, we put together as well on the main channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now you get to just see us kick it and have a conversation and talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, just kind of pick each other's brains and uh, just have some dope. Dope conversations, you know. What yeah. I'm saying? Nothing, nothing over the top. But uh, how's everybody doing? I always like to start off with that. Whew. How we feeling? <laughs> like yeah, that's the word. Bro, how are you feeling, bro? That's you know? the most important question, right? Yeah, here. I'm tired. Birthday <laughs> weekend, birthday weekend for my guy. How old no, are we yeah. now? Thirty one. Hey, hey. I'm a big kid now. He, he's over the hump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's thirty with a year's experience. Wow. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, one one year's, more of a veteran. Than I like, one, I like yeah, that. Yeah, thirty year with a year experience. Uh, he's in the thirty game right now. Anything hurt? Uh, nah, man. Right. I'm just, I'm just still tired from last. Last night's, well, yesterday's whole entire, you know, activities we had lined up throughout yeah. the entire day. Um, appreciate everyone that showed up and showed out. Sure, appreciate man. y'all being there. Nisha being there, man. Like, it, you know, y'all really brought in my birthday in a special way. We had a good time, man. Even though the weather was off and on down here in Houston, bro, it was raining one minute, shining the next minute, hot. All the way, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, the temperature yeah. never, never changed in that order. Yeah. <laughs> in that oh, yeah. order, but mm-hmm. uh, you know, we we everybody got to the destination safe, and we we all had a good time. Man, uh, I was not expecting the 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 bottles or well, the extra bottle we had at the place we was at last night. Yeah, I we wasn't expect. I, I'm thinking we we done with the two bottles we had at the yeah. section. I'm like, all right, we good. I'm I'm feeling good. It was hot as hell. I'm like, all right, I'm good. And then next thing I know, I see some collusions and conversations going on and phones being pulled out and calculators. I'm like, all right, bro, what, <laughs> Not what the hell is going That's on right. over here? And I asked Doug, he's like, man, don't worry about it, bro. And I was like, all right. <laughs> so I ain't worried about it. <laughs> what I look then, like explaining the whole thing? Right? Yeah. Though, and then you <laughs> barely like, hear me. I was like, what's going on? And he's like, don't worry about it. And then next I hear the, the whistles of the bottle go. I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> they bought another bottle and... <laughs> From there, I was like, yep, this is going to be one of them nights. I, I knew. Once that bottle came in, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, it's hot. They playing. Shout out to the DJ. He was oh, killing yeah. it point, mm-hmm. all was night. Crazy, yeah. DJ, music was on. And Everybody the, the was having a The bottle girls' uh, whistle capacity, too? Yeah, they, oh, yeah. they was yeah. whistling yeah, that all was night. <laughs> that joint is stuck in my head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't even whistle now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Like, so I got it. Oh, so, doing it in the shower. <laughs> oh, yeah, doing that in the shower. That's a good way to clean. No, up. but uh, yeah. Once I the bottle came out, I was like, yeah, this is this is gonna be one of those moments. And then I remember one of the few things I do remember. Me and Dub, we were sitting on the couch trying to cool off and relax. Cool off is Yeah, very, as best as we word. possibly could. Mm. And uh, Dub has said some heartfelt things. He's like, hey, bro, I'm proud of you. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Of where you've come and, and you know, who you've become and, and the people that you inspire, bro. Like, you know, I'm really proud of you. And that meant a lot to me. Out of everything that happened that night was fun. That conversation we had oh, just <laughs> that one conversation we had for about two minutes before it's like take a shot, you know. What now I mean? let's get fucked up. Yeah, that one conversation we had on the couch that was very memorable, and I appreciate that. So I appreciate you, Dub. I appreciate you, Chisel, coming down sure, here man. on the birthday weekend, and you yeah. know having a good time with us. I appreciate you, Steve, for just being a solid dude since I met you, pulling up, and you know making my birthday special. And I appreciate you, Nisha for just always treating me like family all these years man uh I, it's, it's one of those oh, bro, things. I got trying to have everybody like, here with water the best man speak. No right? Come on, it's, man. It's one of those you know things where to. it's like uh, <laughs> you know when you you reach that that milestone of just making it to another year. It's a blessing, and it's always cool to be surrounded by people that truly care about you. That's that's the biggest yeah, gift. It, it, no, I'm not so, all man. about like presents and all that other stuff. That's cool, but having solid people around you. 
on your special day or whatnot, knowing what we know and how anything can happen. It can all be gone. You know, those are the things you cherish and remember. So I'm going to always remember my 31st for just everyone that was able to come and we have fun. That's all I wanted to see. Everybody to have fun. And it seemed like everybody had fun. And that was the best thing. So we got to give it up for that. <laughs> hey, that, was, that was dope. <laughs> and, I, and I will say, just adding on to that, man, Chisel has always been the homie. Yeah. Uh, you know, for the past years, ever since we discovered your channel. Mm-hmm. But now nah, he's a part of the family. Oh, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, it just, it just felt mm-hmm. like. I mean, it's like not even to, to play around, but I mean, like, seriously, like. It was natural. It's a natural, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, click. You know, yep. we, we think Him, alike and your brothers, energy, cousin, everybody, everybody, man. Everybody Shout out to your bro and your cousin as well, man. Like, yeah. it's, it's just energy that you don't have to fake. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like almost it's like we've been knowing each other. For, I mean, technically we've been knowing each other, but mm-hmm. it's, it's a difference when you're able to meet somebody in the person that's yeah. the same person. Fact. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Very, very rare and very unique. Uh, I will say one thing. Um, when we was doing the... The the go kart racing that was one of the things we did earlier oh, yeah, day. Yeah. That shit was actually fun. Hot mm-hmm. as hell. Uh, yeah, definitely hot yeah, as hell. Hot, oh, oh, hot. It was, it was hot. Yeah, I actually fun. got a little Man. scared for a split second. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I, I thought I was gonna overheat. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yo, yo, your brother was like, yo, bro, it's too hot. I can't do it. And I, and I understood why. Because as soon as we got in there, it was an oven. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah. But it, one, there's two things. One, I think there was a, we had a, a red red flag, so we had to stop mm-hmm. or whatever. And then the next thing I know, I see chiseled <laughs> just pass by me. I'm like, hey, man, hold on. <laughs> so I'm trying to catch up the chisel <laughs> thing. Zoom. All the whole time, he, he, you know how in Mario Kart, when somebody pass you, they look at you. Yeah. yeah. And they keep going I'm like, just, hey, man, what the look? Yeah. Hold on, man. I'm like, oh, the, the, the I Luigi. Got, just, oh, like, oh, I had to, I had this to, was sweet. And he yeah. had the theme you yeah, were playing. The That's what made it great. Yeah. 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 racing. So um, we had, that shit was fun. And then. That was sweet. We had a, 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 I don't know who this person is. We had a rogue racer out there. That a couple of psychopaths. Oh, I, right, think, man. I think this one individual, like, they just didn't know what the break was for. Yeah. <laughs> so there was multiple races in his race because we had separate races going on. So it was in my race and his race, the, the race that me and Chisel was in. Um, dude ended up, uh, I'm, well, it's not even, it was a chick. She ended up just going crazy on the track. And anytime there was a person in front of her and there was a sharp turn, that person in front of them bruh, was a, bruh, that was nah, raps. Bro. The brakes did not exist in her go-kart, yeah, bro. Uh, I promise you. Cause the first race, she ended up taking out his yeah, his yeah took out yeah. my cousin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His, like yeah. legit Real took quick. him out, bro. Like yeah. he, he, we was like one lap, two laps in, and he they had were, to they had to make the, the one of the harder turns on the track mm-hmm. and literally he just gets slammed. And yeah. we try to figure out what's going on. He gets out his head. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, this bitch is a psychopath. And then she's just yeah. looking in the back. Yeah. Like, sure. And I'm just looking. I'm just shaking my head. Because I'm looking at Tiz. Like, right. I'm like, oh, and so man. Me and Ross go back to do another lap. Me, Ross, Jody, and uh, mm-hmm. somebody else. Yeah. We, we do another uh, race. And she's in it again. Yep. And she's crashing like every like yeah, mm-hmm. she yes. two minutes. Yeah. So dudes got annoyed with it. It was like, get your ass out of here. Yeah, you got Yeah, man. Come on, man. Like, and she, she was, she was and there's, not turning. She was just running in the walls at one point. And yeah, no man. remorse whatsoever. Because no like, if you bump you somebody. Sorry. Exactly. If you like, bump somebody, when you when, when it's all over, just come out and say, hey, hey my, my bad, man. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, especially when he Because he got out. Yeah, he got out. He hit his head, I think, or something like that. Yeah, he was wobbling when he was walking. He was rattled, man. Yeah, whiplash because so she you ain't gonna go tell a man like, "Hey, you straight, bro?" Like, you know, like, come on, man. It's like she, I'm like, these ain't yeah, no. It's like go-kart. she just looked. She saw you as well. I'm like, I forgot when that yeah. was my like, problem. You just move yeah. the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm like, like, come on, bro. man. So I I know when we had stopped and then because there was a Hopefully point she watched this part. <laughs> hey, yeah, man, so slow your ass down. Don't do go kart. <laughs> I'm like, no, and it, it wasn't like it was regular go kart racing where you can just run into each other. Nah, right? nah they, we on some we we fast. 40, 40 yeah. plus miles an hour. And yeah, shit. yeah, you can bro. accelerate real fast. Yeah, yeah, so. it's a situation where you could flip. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could flip. So I, it, it was, it's a little, you know, you got to get used to it. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's you fun. ain't expecting it to yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, wait, wait a second. Yeah, he like said, wait a second. All right, Dominic Toretto, come on. <laughs> yes. All right. Family. Family. <laughs> yeah, Facts. she hit my family. <laughs> so, we had to get it back for get get it back in blood. Right? Yeah. Uh there was um, one point I was hitting the turn real fast. I'm like getting in the rhythm. I'm trying to find the spots where I need a break or you know what I'm saying, hit the gas. Yeah. So I'm in a rhythm because I'm there's you know, there's a screen while you're passing around in the on the track 
where it shows your best time. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, I got to get that better. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I got to get that up. And she in front of me. And then she spins out because she hits the wall. Mm-hmm. So I'm right behind. I see I'm like, bro, I got to break. So I break hard. I end up spinning out because I'm not trying to hit her. Yeah. So he would, they were able to stop the race again, reset. I got past her. As soon as we reset, they said yeah. go. I poured it yeah. past her. But now I'm like in the back of my head thinking of what happened to Chisel's uh, homie. I was like. Oh, hell no. So I'm gunning it because I know she got a lead hook. I don't want her behind, behind me. me. Yeah, so I'm the whole time I'm like, please, just gun it. <laughs> I'm hitting these don't turns. Hit me. <laughs> hitting these. So I'm like, uh-uh. Nah, bro, I'm <laughs> trying to stay At that far point, away. you can't even afford her to get close. No, yep. no. Mess up the whole damn birthday. She yeah. got no, no regard for flags. No, no. Wind wave. No regards for the lights. She was just gone. Going, bro. And like, that, that go? A, All right, man. That was a piece of our very, very... Uh, adventurous weekend. Of yeah. course, we're going to touch more on that, but uh, I do want to shed some light and, uh, you know, on Chiseled and, you know, kind of get to know you some more. Okay. Uh, uh, the things that we may not know, even, you know, even had a lot of conversations, but uh, your start in YouTube, mm-hmm. you know, what what got you to the mindset where you like, I want to do this and take it to the level that you've been taking it this long. Man, it all started from, like, I was finishing up. I was playing football in college, and then mm-hmm. I'm looking at I'm like, man, you know what? The writing's on the wall. It ain't going to happen. Like, <laughs> I, what, what I, I got I was playing at uh, Alfred State College, upstate New York, and then mm-hmm. I got done with my sophomore season. I was I was a beast my two years, man. What, I had four position? catches, what 30 position? to four oh, yards. No <laughs> touchdowns. <laughs> I, I played play play wide you receiver. Got more catches than the person that didn't play. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> and I had two years of eligibility left, and then um there was, like, a change with, like, the coaching and all this other stuff, and it's constant. Like, and we we went from a JUCO junior college to a D3. Okay. So now I'm looking at it like, damn, I got to have two baller seasons if I right. want to even get an opportunity to make it to a combine. Okay. So for one, the junior season, I got to do something to get me noticed to transfer to go mm-hmm. to a um, notable school. Yeah. And then when I'm at the notable school, I got to have a bomb season, season to get there. drafted. I'm looking at it like, I, for one, I ain't got no scholarship no more. Right. So since that's the case, I got to pay out of pocket. I'm looking at student loans. I'm like, man, t- it's too much. So yeah. once that happened, I'm like, I right, made a pivot. Um, and I was uh, my business law professor. I'll never forget Professor Rhodes. Shout out to him. I hope he watching the pop. But then he had uh, pulled me to the side at the end of um, he pulled me at the side at the end of a uh, class mm-hmm. and business law. And I had a B plus in the class. He's like, Yo, let me talk to you for a minute. I'm like, What was going on over here? Like, you for I forged my grade or something like that? He t- <laughs> he said, So what are you doing here? Like, what is your goals? What do you right, what do you want right. to get out of this? I'm like, Man, I'm in school, get my degree, do what I got to do. And he ran down a list of Everything I did throughout the semester that was subtly entertaining. Mm. And I'm like, wait, what what are you talking about? And then there was a time we had a mock trial. I came in with just a briefcase and just my phone blasting law and order music. Wow. <laughs> and dun, I dun, thought dun, nothing dun, of it. I figured this is what you're supposed to do. Right. But right. then he just said, like, you should consider going into entertainment. So that's, he said, that's fun, fun, yeah. Bro. And and if you if you have a like if you're a professor in college, you should never push somebody away from you know yeah, academic. That, yeah. But I I went back to my room. I thought about. It. I'm like, That's yo, dope. you know what? From when I was a kid, elementary, junior high, That's high school, school funny, college, yeah. I've always been funny, and comedy's always been something that yeah. you know I wanted to pursue. Yeah, so when that was the case, Pause. I yeah. Mm. Did you come in with shades. <laughs> um, with shades. What when you mean? You had your Law and Order music. Oh yeah, absolutely, oh, absolutely, he came absolutely. Like Blade. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I me, mean, I was Wesley Snipes out there. They used to call yeah. me Nino when I was in college. He told me that last night. Yeah. So we're at the club, and I'm like, bro, you got like the, you like got the Blade thing going on. Oh. It's Blader. It's, mm-hmm. it's Wesley Snipes. It's, yeah, you Wesley Snipes. He's like, yeah, they used to call me Nino back yeah, then. They used to call me Nino, funny. man. Cancel yeah. that. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying it last night. That was right. funny as hell. That was just one yeah, of the man. Moments. So then I, I got, I left school. I ended up switching my um four year to a two year. So okay. I ended up getting my associates. I got the hell up out of there, and then okay. I, I just saved up all my money. I decided, all right, I'm gonna get into stand up because that's where comedy usually is. Because yeah. yeah. social media, I was like, ah, it's kind of, it, it's kind of hacky. I don't mm-hmm. want to be one of those guys. Where, right, yeah, right. Like if you want to call yourself a comedian, you got to be a yeah, stand up guy. Yeah. Yeah. But then um, I was looking at when I first started in stand up, you performing in front of maybe 15, 20, 30 people max. Yeah. You get on a good show, you had like 50, 75. 
you post a video online. I was like, driving to the gym. It started raining. I posted my rant for like two and a half minutes. I got a thousand views. I'm like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. There might be some here. So right, then, right, right. you know, uh, March 2016, I started the channel. I never looked back. I'm like, man, you know what? I'm going to try to double dip, stand up, and also do uh, um, content creation. And then when the pandemic had hit, and it kind of put like stand up on a, on a hold. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go hard on, on social media. I had already had 100,000 subscribers at the time because I was just posting <laughs> crazy. Slight, slight flicks. You know? Mm-hmm. But then now I'm looking at like, Man, you know what? Social media that that that's that's the move because everything yeah. is moving there. With the way stand up is True. like, you get canceled like that. Yeah. But then social media, you can have your own niche and you have your own people yeah, that's yeah, there. Yeah. You build yeah. from there. So then, you, I was just I was looking at it like, man, you know what? I, I'm I'm just gonna go 100 percent at this because it's something that I I know I I, I can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially if the professor saw it in me before I saw it in myself. So I'm like, man, that's that's powerful, that. bro, for a professor to. To you know, like, cause like you said, bro, they're always supposed to help push you to get your degree and mm-hmm. stay in uh, mm-hmm. the course Absolutely. of a certain you know subject or a career path. Uh, so for them to notice that, I mean, that's that's something strong. Yeah, you know, big, that means that means it was almost like destined. Cause yeah. you know, you see them little, we have them little sparks and things and people that actually come in our life to kind of push us towards where we should be going. Mm-hmm. Cause everybody's trying to figure out uh, why am I here, you know, purpose, and then, yeah, you know, yeah. get that purpose. And, you know, to every now and then you get somebody to kind of tell you, but we ignore it. You yeah. Know, like yeah. We, we kind of yeah. ignore it. And then we go down another road like, damn, why I'm not figuring out my purpose? It's like, well, I'm trying to give you a hint here, and, mm-hmm. you know, but you keep going on your old path. But no, nah, I, I think that's dope, bro, because uh, even in our conversations, bro, like I think one of the biggest thing that you have is drive and mm-hmm. determination. Yeah. You know, like even your sure will of being able to like, like you said, save your money up. Yeah. Like, you know what? The biggest thing that people have a, pr- a problem with is discipline yeah and they don't realize how much discipline it takes i mean even doing youtube as a career um, yeah. and creating content and stuff like that that's, the discipline. discipline is crazy bro because mm-hmm. you really have your own time to be able to do videos and stuff like that and you know mm-hmm. you actually have to say hey i gotta record at this time i gotta do this type of content yeah. you know you actually have to do all it and hell because the videos that you put together, yeah. which I really want to know, mm-hmm. when you do those NFL commentary videos, you go on, you're you going through all these clips. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You're yeah. commentating, and then when you're editing, you're adding all the sound effects. And yep. Like, yeah. bro, walk you know me through. How much work that man. is? Walk me through a video, man. bro. And that's every week. Yeah. Yeah. Until every Super Bowl. Week. Me watching those, I'm like, damn, like, I know he. Like this is time in thirty minute yeah. videos. Yeah, like, it's, minute. like it's, it's balloon. Like I think the longest commentary I ever made for um I think it was Super Bowl. I think it was fifty five. I think it was mm-hmm. when it was Tampa and and, and Kansas City. Mm-hmm. No, no, not Tampa and Kansas City. It was uh, Kansas City and uh, um who they play when they won the San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that one's like fifty five minutes. And pretty much how how I go about it because usually the um the Sunday games is the one that it's, it's very difficult to do because yeah. if it's one game it's not a problem like yeah. I can I can stretch out one game but when it's every game I'm getting Ooh. every touchdown oh every turnover God. all of like the whoa moments I gotta <laughs> insert that so <laughs> to get all that and, and remember the games start at one yeah. you know well yeah. like, I guess here in Central Time you're looking at 12 like it started yeah, at noon. Yeah, yeah so yeah. then they start they start at, at, at 12 Damn, and then I'd have the video posted when Sunday night football starts. Mm -hmm. So it's like a seven hour period that I got. I go to Twitter, I download every single clip. So I'd go to each team. I'm like, I have two computers open. Yeah. I'm looking at, all right, um, I have red zone on on the on the television. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I or I have it on um NFL network to where they have the um game day. Uh, yeah. So they keep the updated highlights and everything's happening. So I'm looking at different scores, I'm looking at different games. And on top of that, Pittsburgh's playing, I'm watching the entire Pittsburgh game all while I'm still, you know, recording. So I'm legit. In a spot where it's like, all right, I download every single wow. clip, and then in real time, as the game is going on, I'm recording. So then I'm doing the audio, I'm recording, bam, I do the first clip, get that done. If there's something that I think, oh, I could add a sound effect, I'll throw that in there. Then the wow. next clip, bam, Shit. go. So it's like piece by piece. Oh, 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 and then by the, time, <laughs> by the time that space between the afternoon games being over, because it's like usually a 45-minute period between the afternoon games being over and the start of Sunday Night Football. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it might be 30 minutes, <laughs> yeah. really, but then I'm in a spot where I'm like, I gotta get this, you know, processed, saved, uploaded. It's 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 that's a lot. Crazy. It's yeah. a lot, man. That and that's I just always wanted to know that. People don't like, understand bro, that. The, mm-hmm. to, to do that 
week in, week every out, every single and it's, week. It's a point now where people can't <laughs> go playoffs. without seeing it. Yeah, and playoffs. And some mm-hmm. people don't even watch the highlights without your commentary. Yeah, yeah. that's that's the craziest exactly. thing because there's some point. people like, man, you know, I miss the games, but I don't even want to turn on Sports yeah. Center. I don't want to look yeah, it up. I'm gonna wait till. Yeah, I will say you messed me up, bro. Mm. Now I can't like it's. Yeah, we'll be watching the games, regular games. I'm like, bro, that's that's something chiseled. Man, it's some stuff that'll happen in a highlight, and I'll be like. To the east, back, back to, to the, the west. west. Like I don't say yeah. that in my head, just because I'm like, dang, he's, this would definitely get rewind right here because he, yeah, he he doing too much east west, right? <laughs> and it's one of the reasons why I thought about you know bringing in like quotables because if there's anything that I learned from like from like oh, Kevin Hart, sure. all right, all right, you yeah. remember that. Like if you don't remember no jokes, you don't remember nothing else. You'll remember the quotable yeah, things. But course. the thing is. If I have like a 40 minute, 50 minute video or whatever, I'll have a number of quotables that's in there. But then in between, I'm saying stuff. I'm mm-hmm. saying all kinds right. of oh, things. Yeah, yeah, like know. if it, it'll we go know. over your head. Yeah, like if you go back and you listen, <laughs> like, what, what so the hell? detailed sometimes. You, uh, man, it was a video I was watching and it was so in depth. And it was almost like a bar mm-hmm. how complex the damn line was because it was mm-hmm. so funny. And, and you have to think, you're like, Damn, it's funny because of this. Mm-hmm. It's funny because of this. It's funny because like it was so many reasons why it was yeah. funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the red zone in every different language. every different language. That's fucking funny. Yeah. The rose after I said a stuff dog. Every different every, language. Mm-hmm. Bruh, this man that shit is that's great, bro. bro. This man <laughs> called five guys yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Pentagon gentlemen. Pentagon, Pentagon gentlemen. gentlemen. <laughs> and Theseus literally stopped me. He said that this man. He brought it up before we went to the virtual thing, the zombie <laughs> thing. He was like, yo, that dude funny as fuck. <laughs> he was like, who is it? I was like, it's Chisel the Dunnis, man. I, I told you about his videos before. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh, that's the guy? I was like, yeah, he came down to visit or whatever. He was like, this nigga said Pentagon Gentleman. Pentagon Gentleman, man. That's for not five guys. Yeah, not a lot of people would understand. Nah, like people one of, right now are confused. Yeah, like one of, one, of the, one of the best, like I call him Bar, because my brother, he raps. And yeah. then even from, from when There's I was young, yeah, I always yeah. understood, like I read the We're thesaurus when I was a kid. Nah, I was I was one of them guys who always wanted to know more words I and the definition that, and everything. Because the way you hold on the stats. You hold on the stats more than I do. And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm big on stats. So like when I hear you talk about sports, I'm like, damn, like I'm, Kind of right there with you when we yeah. were talking like like the other day, Friday, whatever. And I was like, damn, he's very similar to me when it comes to like those stats and the mm-hmm. numbers and worried about that kind of stuff. And so I was like, yeah, he just he just soaks shit up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. you, you got to embody it when you really. Because I when I was growing up and listening to people like Chris Berman who get on and talk yeah, about him when it was Chris. NFL prime time, and yeah. he was always like, there was a um a returner. His last name was Basil. But then when he scored the touchdown, Chris Berman said he puts a little bit of basil, yeah. oregano, <laughs> and a dash of salt Definitely when he scored the kick return. And I was a kid. I'm like, that's hey, genius. That's Chris Berman right. was one of the best. And that's he was one cold. of the best. And, and it, it was so funny. So now- A little bit when, of basil. Right, I'm like, who, who says that? That's right. cold, so, bro. So whenever I hear, whenever I, I would hear stuff like that, I'm like, man, you know what? If I'm doing do voiceover on a game, I got to yeah. like spice it up. And then yeah, like yeah. the triple, double entendres. Yeah. Like the one of my favorite right. ones, Still, I, the only reason why I keep saying it is because I really want to drive it into people's head because yeah. I know somebody else is going to say it. Well, I never heard that before. Where I said they got more blockers than transgender medication. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, <laughs> like when you think about it, it's yeah. like, who says that? Yeah. You so know, I've been uh, driving people, that into I, bro, all the, bro, every time bro. I see a kick return. So, so I got to say that. I'd be like, who the fuck says that? that yeah. Like, who? But, it's crazy because I think like that. Mm. <laughs> That like I'm so out of the yeah the norm like I'll mm-hmm. just be saying the most random things so like as I'm listening to your commentary it's like so natural because I'll be thinking I'll be catching everything you say yes. and I'm like bro this nigga stupid and all I'm saying is he's stupid and it's yeah. and you, stupid. you have to sometimes you you have to rewind some stuff you be like did he just yeah because yep. some stuff like if you're like listening to somebody else like they'll laugh at the the, the regular part of it but if you've heard chisel before you're listening for that extra mm-hmm. yeah. like that extra piece that makes it even funnier hey, and then the clips that you incorporate bro <laughs> you know the clip that undertaker oh, yeah. it oh. sends me every, every time, single talk oh. <laughs> you wait <That's> my rest <laughs> in mm. <laughs> that shit. No, or the Justin Timberlake. Oh, oh man, Prime yeah, Prime River. River. Oh, oh my god, 
was. Especially for the Cowboys man. stuff when they take it. Yeah, and they, they, they put everybody, everybody like, head going down. Everybody head going down. Like, you know how many people they 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 they'll um they <laughs> overlook. Like when I say put your you know motherfucking head back down and everything. Initially, the very first two seasons, I only head. said it with a clip where somebody's head would go down. Damn, so, yeah. I remember there was times in which I would go through the entire game footage. Just oh to find a God. clip of one player that in particular, oh like with the kickers, I'd have <laughs> yep. to find Same a video yeah. where you putting your head down. It's over. Oh, Same bro. Gonzalez. You know they're going to hit it. Yeah, you, you know, know they're going to hit it. it. And what's, what's funny is with the kickers, sometimes I cut them some slack. But yes. I'm like, man, you can't. Like, there'll be weeks where boy, one kicker will have a bad field. day. Like, yeah. it's all right. You have a He's bad day. But bad everybody day. around the week having a bad day, too. So I'm like, damn, I got to get you now. Like, you, <laughs> the Zane Gonzalez one, bro. <laughs> He said, that's all right. It's not like you're going to miss another field. Right? He's not going to miss another one, right? <laughs> thing you know, right? Man missed four, and they lost by four points. It's you. you. <laughs> what was that one, bro? We was reacting. We were reacting. Oh, and, um, my God. I think he had missed, was it Cody or Zane? I think it may have been Cody. Mm. He, I think he it may have been Cody, like, bro. T- he had already missed like two, mm. and they end up coming back. Mm. Yeah, and then so Cody! It, it, oh. it came down to him <laughs> yeah. to win the game after they didn't came back. <laughs> We're going to win the Super Bowl. And, bro, that one, when he kicked it, it and it was, you, you muted everything, yep. and all you heard was the, don't. I lost oh, it, man. Oh, like, no. Oh, I, What's that Undertaker oh, music going to I'm done. Was a Cody. <laughs> so when I take my, if I was to record what I look like when I'm recording, like the vein <laughs> yeah, is like, God. it's damn near outside my skin. Oh, oh my God. Or, or the goddamn Gronk slipping. Oh, yeah, oh. He said he slipped. He slipped. <laughs> he slipped. No. <laughs> oh. He no. slipped on the banana because you did the little banana noise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Toe. Oh, yeah. Ah. That was, yeah, that to- that ah. took, that was the That was the first one, bro. I oh, think we man. checked on the channel. Yeah. One of the first ones. Yeah, it was a prime was, time. Yeah. I think, and I remember, I remember when y'all reacted because <laughs> they were doing the inch, the player yeah. intro in the corner. So they were like, "Oh, y'all thought I was the player intro?" Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, "Oh, yeah, it's just a regular video." Yeah. And then I said something, and y'all wait, wait, <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah, wait yeah. oh lord, <laughs> what did he just yeah, say? <laughs> when did you uh, check out our video? Like, mm. when did that? I, it popped up. Um, I think it was after the very first one that y'all did. Oh, so it okay. popped up in the recommended, and I think I had auto um audio play on um, um <laughs> yeah. and then I okay. went and I'm listening, I hear my voice, but I hear other voices. I'm yeah. like, I'm home by myself. <laughs> so I look at the computer, I'm like, oh wow, people reacting. Yeah, and yeah. this was the first time I ever seen somebody react to one of my videos. So I'm oh, like, oh yeah. wow, I must be on. Yeah. So then right. out of nowhere, that whole the rest of the whole season. Yeah, bro. Like I saw y'all y'all was rocking with. I'm like, man, now I, I started thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, yo, I gotta start putting some sound effects in here oh, just no. to catch them. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, when yeah, I started yeah, doing yeah. the Pokemon sounds. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. <laughs> and it's funny because uh, I had brought it to the attention. I was like, yo, we need to start checking his vids out. Because yeah, I saw it. I saw your videos on Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook. That was yeah, the first where yeah. I saw it. I think one of the homies, Marcus, he uh, he was like, he had reposted it. I was like, bro. And I sat there. I wasn't even trying to Which be on one? Facebook. Marcus mm. uh, Eccles. No, Marcus Benoit. Marcus Benoit had reposted it. And I wasn't even trying to be on Facebook that long. I was just, you know, checking it out. And, bro, I'm dying. I'm like, yo, this commentary it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. So I, that's when I found your stuff on YouTube. I was like, bro, we got to check this out. Oh, yeah, and bro, ever yeah, since bro. then, it, it, it's been a thing. I know I know. last season we, we hadn't checked out all the games because the commentaries do yeah, it's kind of long. Yeah, it's long. It's I think long, we're going to try to start now. doing them live on on Twitch uh, or whatnot to actually try to keep up with them this week because the longer videos on them, been, we've been in the discussions of doing some live uh, reactions on Twitch, and I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that's because, a good uh, point. To be honest idea. with you, bro, th- those videos, man, people, like you said, people will literally wait to just, if they miss the games, they'll wait to check out the holidays. Or if they see something, they're like, oh, I know Chiz is going to talk oh, about course, this. Bro. Yeah, no, like, uh, I forgot what game that was. It was a, I think it was a playoff game. I think it was uh, Cincinnati versus Green Bay last year when them niggas couldn't make a field goal. Both oh, yeah. Kids, oh, my I, God. I knew I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Oh, Nobody I, wanted to win. Back yeah. and forth. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, Chiz is going to have a great day. And you know what's crazy? That was the one game that I was keeping up with everything. Yeah. And then 
in the fourth quarter, nobody was scoring because they kept missing field goals. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this is going to be, oh, this is light. Nothing's happening. Yeah. It wasn't until I started the 4 o'clock games, and mm -hmm. my phone is blowing Blowin up because I started yeah. telling people on Twitter, if I don't, if I can't get to all the clips, send me every clip yeah. you see so I don't miss something. Because there's some times in which I'll miss like a, yeah. not, not a touchdown or interception, but there'll be somebody who got ran over. Like, oh, yeah. man, how'd you miss this clip? I never right, saw right, it. Right, right, right. I'm yeah. trying to watch all 16 games. <laughs> yeah. So then I'm <laughs> sitting here. Oh, and then they got they got game day on and I'm looking I'm like alright it's on I'm recording and then I see okay there's a missed kick from Cincinnati alright cool missed kick yep. from Green Bay I'm like oh they showing highlights from last week I got a missed kick from Cincinnati again I'm like wait yo they wearing the same missed kick from like what playing. it's happened it's what like, it's and then one game and it's game, within five bro. minutes I, bro, I damn near threw my headset that. on the ground I'm like what is wrong with y'all make right. me have to do this <laughs> I try to spare y'all but I mean working was, kickers wanted it bad yeah that man I was like, oh yeah, Chiz was about to let them have it because I watched that game. I'm like, I'm just editing them. That game miss was kick. ridiculous. Bro. All right, miss kick. All right, well, miss kick. Hey man, come on, what y'all exactly. doing? Bro? You know what made it even Somebody worse? Prank I had, me, right? Uh, I want to say I had Crosby mm -hmm. as yeah. my kicker, and I was yeah. like, oh, this game over, y'all. Yeah. We good. Yeah, yeah. miss. <laughs> Negative play. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and then they miss. Then he goes back. I'm like, oh, it's gone for oh, sure. Then yeah, it's over. It's over. Right, miss right, right. again. I said the same thing. He's not going to do that again. It's Crosby. Yeah, I said the same thing, too. <laughs> we were straight. Miss. Miss. Yeah. I was like, all right, okay. okay. I felt so disrespectful. All right, because yeah. that's making a point. He ended up making me lose the, <laughs> yeah. lose the fantasy game, too. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, okay, Crosby. It'll make you want to swing. negative it. points. Thank yeah. It. Appreciate you. you miss and they missed three total field goals. No, it was two total field goals in overtime. Yeah. So then if you have a situation where you go down the field, you miss the field goal, next score wins. Yeah. So now it's like, oh wait, you don't even got no real. Like you yeah. make the kick, you miss. I'm like what the? What is going on? <laughs> that had Niggas. to be one of the craziest. I was like, what games. is this? Boy, heart attacks all over the place. Yo, facts, bro. bro. Fan bases. For, for, oh, big oh, facts. Oh, they though. heard it in the locker. Uh, oh, yeah, without question. Because like, yo, you're not even really an athlete. You don't gotta <laughs> run. All you do is kick. Just kick. <laughs> Like, this is it? what they pay you, you for. Right, like no. today, Justin Reed go and kick a field goal this past weekend. Yeah, yeah, he was he's doing the kickoff. Yeah. He did the kick the um, Texas, extra point. Texas uh, tried him uh, last year because he had been talking about <clears> wanting <throat> to be a mm -hmm. kicker so bad. Yeah. Wow, Nathan really? Cole, he kicked like a what? 50, 60 one? Yeah, it was deep, yeah. It was a deep one. Yeah, it was like inside yeah. inside he, the 10, inside the good. 5, yeah. Damn. Damn. Mm -hmm. But nah, you know, and, it, and that's, it's dope, bro, because that, not even knowing you had to go through and do all that, yeah. mm -hmm. that's... By yourself Different too. That's that's people don't pay attention like, to the ground. Yeah, yeah, they don't, that's the, and another Jeez. thing on top of that is the community. Yeah, you know, because mm -hmm. I want to talk about the community as well. Like people, you know, ride for you, but it's not only just because of them being a fan, but it's because or supporter, but it's you ride for them just as much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you were telling me uh, about going to. A subscribers, oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Tell them about yeah, that, that's man. Yeah, that, so, um, that, that's phenomenal. Yeah, last last month in uh, um, well, I should say two months ago, back in uh, June, I was doing a live stream. Um, I think it was during, yeah, I believe it was during the NBA finals. Okay. And then I had seen it. Um, shout out to Macho Time because it was his wedding. And then um, he he had sent me a bottle of like Crown Royale Apple because um, a like, year ago I was drink because I usually drink on live on the stream, mm -hmm. and I was talking about like my favorite whiskeys and, and dark liquor or whatever. And I'm like, man, you know what? I think Jack Daniels, because I had never had another apple flavored, mm. you know, um, whiskey. Okay. So I had the Jack Daniels apple. I'm like, yo, this is this is pretty good. I think this might take number one as my favorite. And then I saw he had um he had messaged this was before he even had donated. He's like, nah, you gotta try Crown Royal Apple. Mm. I'm like, oh word, really? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna send you a bottle. The truth. And I'm like, yeah, wait a minute. It's just like me and his. So I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> Drink right there. And I'm sitting there like, okay. All right, I'll, I might I might look into that. He sent me an email like, "Yo, send me information. I'm sending you a bottle." I'm like, "Oh, send you my oh, no. all yeah, right. Well, right. We'll see what happened, you know." Right, so, right, hey, right. pull up if you want. But so, <laughs> then, so then he sent the bottle, and I drank the bottle. Um, and I actually went and I bought my own because I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna be serious or not. But right. I went, and then it came in like the same day that I was uh, doing the live stream. Oh, so wow. now I had two of them. Uh, so I'm like, oh wait, yo, this this is hitting. This is good. This is good drink, right? You know. And it's then like, wait, fast <laughs> forward another year because he'd always like interact in the stream. Yeah. And then um NBA Finals, I was talking about how like I I wanted to build a community yeah. to how it's like, yo, you know, it's not just a I'm the I'm the content creator, yeah. I'm the head honcho. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of peons yeah. that follow. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, it's like we we I although I make the videos yeah. and things like that, I'm no different than you. You no mm, different exactly. than me. We all on the same playing field. Mm. So then um he had said, Oh, yo, um, I don't know if you got time or whatever. I'd love to invite you to to my wedding because I was talking about how I seen Taylor Swift years ago start going to people's events, like whether it's a graduation, go to their wedding, something like that. I'm like, all right, that's That's dope. dope. Why not? And then he invited me, and I looked at I looked at my schedule. I'm like, man, yo, if I got time, I'll pull up. Right. And then all of a sudden, the NBA Finals was over. It was like three weeks till the wedding. I'm like, I actually got some time. I, I think I might do it. Right. Mm-hmm. So now I flew down to um South Carolina man, and then dope, I flew out there dope. and then, man, I, I chilled with him. I kicked it with the, uh, uh, I kicked it with him, his wife, mm-hmm. his dad, his brother. We went to the gun range. Oh, they ate oh, some wow. marksmen. So I'm like, I'm, I'm happy they didn't pull up. If they really wanted some trouble, I'm in trouble. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Some well, you know, marksmen. Yeah, man, some marksmen, man. His his dad, that is a the master hunter, man. That, oh, but they okay. dope, man. It was so cool. He told everybody I was coming because when I when I walked in and they were like, "Oh, you're 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 the blogger. Oh, you're the YouTuber. Oh, you're the content creator." So they all knew like who I was. I'm like, "Yo, that's, that's dope. dope, man. That's, that's fire, shit was bro. amazing." And what was beautiful about it was it wasn't like I just walked in. I'm like, "Yeah, I'm just here. I'm in the back. I'm interacting with everybody." Yeah, yeah. And you really building a rapport. I spoke with the um uh, the bride's father. He kind of looked like Doctor Eggman. He did look like Doctor <laughs> yeah. Eggman. But <laughs> like everybody was dope it was oh, so cool. fun it was an amazing experience i can't wait to do it again like i'm going to atlanta next um next month and oh, i have another um subscriber of mine who's getting married but okay. then the reason why i'm going down there that particular day i'm not available but i told him like yo when i land i might have a bunch of downtime or whatever we could kick it and then i'll go take care of what i got to take care yeah, of yeah, but that's, that's, you know that's, that's awesome bro yeah, that's man. next level man they, yeah that keep doing that bro because mm, yeah. people don't really see that you mm-hmm. know from people that they look up to yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause mm-hmm. what you said was so key. You know, I'm not just a content creator. I want to show that I'm just like you. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Don't, don't put me on this pedestal. We all here together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just see me here doing this, but I'm no different from you. We all human. You know. Yeah, big facts. So now nah, that's that's phenomenal. When yeah. you told me mm-hmm. that, bro, I was just like, bro, it's it's not a lot of people out there. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people let it get to their head. You know. Yeah. They do. Mm-hmm. That a lot of people lose that humble yeah. way about them that they may have had before. Mm-hmm. They're like, shoot, I'm. I'm Famous, yeah, I'm, I'm me. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm me. Yeah, I'm me. Let yeah. me in. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. Let me <laughs> exactly. in. Like, yeah. This is what I do. But now nah, mm-hmm. to keep that mindset, bro, that's that's phenomenal, man. And Super dope. I know that that's what make people want to keep coming back. Yeah. Um. You know, and you kind of make everybody feel like they're important. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. and I tr- I try to do giveaways every stream, like giving sure. away like twenty five dollars, fifty dollars, whatever. Because yeah. ultimately, you know, people gonna donate. So yeah, it's like, sure. you, so since that's the case, you could always give back. You give people opportunity to win. Anybody exactly. can get stuff. Like my giveaways for the PS five and Xbox. Like now, of course, they got these bots in the comment section that's yeah. trying to scam people and all this other yeah. stuff. But for the most part, when I do the giveaway, it's like it's literally at random mm-hmm. for the people who just mess with you. Go over, you download the app, all the other stuff. You follow me there, and it's at random. You don't got to worry about nothing. All, it's literally free you have a chance to win you don't do nothing right. yeah. so literally it's like alright this is the winner cool I announce it live mm-hmm. and if you win you happen to be in the room great you just send me your information I take care of the shipping I package I record everything and bam you got a whole new there's six people out here with a console they didn't have right. and I'm just whole, and, and it's difficult to get them consoles I yeah. know people right now who still ain't got no PS5 I should have gotten that uh, yeah like <laughs> Like it's crazy. Like a lot of times, there's a bunch of different creators where they don't recognize like the the impact that you can have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'd love to be a dude who like if I'm sitting on all kinds of money and yeah. somebody like man, I'm struggling to get to school. No, I don't even worry about that, man. Go to school. Like yeah. if you got it, but you got to make sure you got the right you know mindset because there's some people you can't help. Yeah, yeah. like they, they'll Absolutely. have their hand out all day. Yeah. It's like yeah. oh man, I see you going through some. Hey, he's fifty, and then all of a sudden like oh man, you know I really could use a hundred. I'm like oh, yeah, they ain't trying to work. Yeah. yeah, come they on, just man. Want their hand out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's that. the thing too, like being able to decipher between who you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you you do have people that kind of try to get attention off of a sad story. Yeah, yeah. You know? or take advantage of it. And they, they take mm-hmm. advantage sure. of that, bro. Yeah, like that pull out the cameras and stuff. Like that that's yeah. one of the reasons why I don't I don't mind doing it behind closed doors. Like mm-hmm. if you know, you sure. know. I don't tell somebody like, hey man, don't 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 tell nobody about that. But if if I'm you know <laughs> yeah. out here you need help or something's going on. Like when I had gotten the tickets for homie and stuff like that to go to the show, I don't need to go take out a phone. Look at me doing a good deed. Yeah, like yeah. that yeah, was yeah. one of the things I never liked because I, although, I, I, although I although 
support, you know, showcasing positivity mm-hmm. on social media and stuff. It's just something that I can't wrap yeah, my you know, mind around about fake. exactly because you taking out a phone in front of somebody who's struggling yeah. to record them going through the struggle. Then, hey, look, yeah. oh, it looks terrible, but guess what I just did? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's weird to me. Like, you mm-hmm. could just do that. And then and move, move on, on with the rest of your day. Like, yeah. you would never have to know it was me. Exactly. Be- because it comes off as if, like, you have an ul- ul- ulterior motive. You yeah. know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's like, it's that's always been weird to me. Like, people recording and saying, hey, I'm doing something big and great for these homeless people right here. Let me mm-hmm. show you. Right. Like, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me get my phone real quick. Yeah. Uh, okay, now I can do <laughs> yeah. it. Thirsty. All right, so look, I'm finna give him something to drink. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I know you've been thirsty, you've been out. It's like, bro, that's strange. Yeah. It's, it's so weird, man. It's strange. it's so weird because you could you could even look at it like this times in which it starts the recording would start like mid conversation, and it's almost like they restarted their interaction. Yeah. So now you're looking like what's genuine, what's not. Exactly. And again, it's not to knock the people who's giving back because ultimately you still are helping somebody, yeah. but like. Like you said, Steve, like, what's the it. ulterior motive here? Put the stain mm. on it. Now, if you record somebody who's in the act without them knowing you record exactly. them or something yeah. like that, yeah. then it's kind yeah. of that's, different. That's, that's yeah, that's completely. Yeah, I saw a video of um Juju Smith-Schuster before he got traded, or I should say before he went to um, um Kansas City in free agency. Mm-hmm. He would go out during Thanksgiving. He bought, like, turkeys, and he was just giving them out. He had exited, and somebody, I don't know if they was in the bushes or something, they just recorded from a distance, and he would walk out, and he gave, like, a whole bag of, like, a turkey to a woman oh, who was wow. just sitting there and just moved on with the rest of his day. He's like, hey, man, be blessed, and kept it pushing. It wasn't like he said, oh, yeah, record me and yeah. everything. Yeah. You could tell it's a it. genuine yeah. interaction because now people have gotten so desensitized to you know all this stuff. Uh, yeah, Somebody yeah. will just do that just for clout. So they're like, oh, look at me. I'm a good person. I'm yeah. always giving back. Yeah. Oh, come to my page. I'm doing another giveaway mm-hmm. here. Little did you know, you know, they could just have somebody pose as mm-hmm. somebody in need. Exactly. You record mm-hmm. yourself. Now everybody think you're a good Samaritan when you're really no, not you're doing not. anything. Now yep. really your homeboy in home yeah. Yep. Yep. Very PR much, moves, bro. yep, crazy, like man. That. That's crazy, bro. But again, tax reasons, it, mm-hmm. tax yeah, reasons you can get around off. Yeah. It's, it's important to have a good community, bro. That's why I love uh, your community and and ours. And it's like they they blend it and they mesh well. Mm-hmm. Believe me, they do not let us let forget when we don't react. Mm-hmm. To a new chisel video, bro. Hey, 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 hey chisel post. Hey, hey, yeah. chisel, chisel. Yeah, they ended. I'm they like, ended. Hey, I'm like, hey, y'all gotta relax, yeah. man. <laughs> Calm you down. Got other gotta videos. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I get it because mm-hmm. they like to just see, you know, something dope like you doing. Like, mm-hmm. and I always said that too from the first video. I'm like, bro, this is rare. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying. I'm like, very this, is, this is very rare and unique of content, mm-hmm. and it's not fake. Mm-hmm. Like just with all the work you put into it, that means something. But just the fact that it comes off so natural and it makes everybody not only laugh, it make you think. It, yeah, it, I, you I know? knew it wasn't fake the moment I met him in person. I was like, mm. this man is just naturally like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we were Facts. talking. He was just like running off, just saying stuff. I'm like, God damn, like this is just. Yeah. So you just do this. You just unconsciously yeah. joke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unconsciously yeah. funny yeah. for sure. <laughs> and again, you can't fake energy, bro. At yeah. all. Yeah. At all. Uh, Big dope. facts. And uh. As well, I, I will say, uh, shout out to your brother, man. Mm. I was, uh, I check, started checking out the unchiseled Madonna's yeah. video when mm-hmm. I was like working out. Oh, we were working like out, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it, although it was funny, it, it was dope to see a brother, and I mean, like by blood, uh, you know, concerned and trying to push a family man or a member to be better mm-hmm. uh, when you feel like they can. Yeah. And I don't think people see a lot of that. Mm-hmm. You know, like in actuality, like family looking out for each other. And you joking, and of course, it's, it's funny as hell, but at the same time, like, man, that's dope. Yeah. He taking time out Not to actually sure. help his brother in the weight loss uh, um Journey. journey because that that's, mm-hmm. that takes a while to you know, yeah it do and, and I told him like when when we had first I came up with the idea like yo maybe we could do some here yeah because I my my biggest concern with him has always been like you gotta you gotta make sure you get the weight you know regulated because now he's sitting on um he's turning thirty two mm-hmm. um this year so then mm-hmm. I'm looking at it like yeah next next month and I'm looking at it like man you know, your body starts to like reach its point where the decline starts kicking in like 40. Mm -hmm. So, and if you, if you dealing with 
external, you know, things or internal things that's happening, mm-hmm. that accelerates that pace. So I'm yeah, like, dog, absolutely. you gotta, you don't wanna be something, you 38, something like that, you holding all that weight. Yeah, yeah. So let's just get, see if man, we can do something. The tougher it gets exactly. to take that weight off. So, so I was just like, and on top of that, it could be something that's therapeutic for you. So you can, absolutely. a lot of times people think, right. oh man, working out, it's all this. People pain. find peace yeah. in going to the gym. Like it's, right. it's you, you can find that as a place of refuge. Mm-hmm. You go over 100%. there, it's a place like, so since that's the case, I'm like, man, yo, we could really do something with this and then on top of that you can inspire people like yep. we had three right. different people there's one guy who actually ran into my brother on the bus and he had lost 80 pounds wow and he was like yo i got inspired from watching you know you and your brother doing everything i'm like that's yo that's crazy. crazy i had another guy who dm'd me like yo when are you gonna bring the series back i've been working ever since i'm down 120 i'm like Woo! fam there's, there's people who legit can get inspired by your story. I told him, like, yo, we got 18 months. If we were to do an 18-month plan, you can end up on Ellen while it was still going before she yeah. got canceled or whatever. Yeah. But then I'm like, yo, we <laughs> just we just go go every single nice. day, just do something. We can get somewhere, you know? And for me, I was always, like like I had said, it's all about community and everything. Mm. Like, I even, um when my father, he had got um jaundice, so his eyes was yellow during the, um, the right before the pandemic started. Oh, wow. And I flew to um california because i was going out there just for leisure and everything and then when mm-hmm. i came back i had found out he was in the hospital so i'm like oh what's going on right. and then he had to take off work and it was messing with his brain and everything so i legit for like three i think i had three or maybe four videos where i'm pretty much trying to help him rehabilitate so mm-hmm. we doing yoga he don't know what he doing he's struggling right. to do i took out like a speed ladder i right, had him doing right. all these movements but it wasn't like oh man i'm gonna record this so it makes me look like a good person i'm genuinely like putting everything else on hold like yo wait a minute but me showcasing like the care you can show a <laughs> positive bond between exactly. a father and a son primarily a black father and a son mm-hmm. exactly exactly so then i'm like oh wait a minute I, I think rarity. i could do something here right so then if you show that kind of community with people and that's one of the reasons why i said it's so dope with what you guys got going on with your family because mm. you just going on your story and showing that you and your wife working out right. or you got your kids you know all that commute that means something mm-hmm. so then ultimately so down the line when I have you know the, the resources or whatever I would love to have like a camera crew follow around and now all of a sudden we all trying to just better ourselves yeah. mm-hmm. you know like my cousin he don't even notice because I actually did this yesterday um, and he because he's he has a channel himself mm-hmm. right. and everything yeah, but he okay. he's in a he's in a tough spot at the current moment and of course, you know, when you're going through stuff, you deal with adversity, but you still, you know, overcome. He don't even know this right now. I'm going to lower my voice a little bit. He don't even know this right now. I actually went to the bank. I wrote a $10,000 check. I'm going to give it to him. You almost, you almost made me cry. Can I see it? Can Tonight. I see what happened? Oh, <laughs> why not? We could do it here. I think oh, I got it bro, in my bag. That, that's, I love it. Dog, this is why right now, bro. he is, we consider him a goat, bro. I want to cry a little bit. We, we consider him a goat. Not because That's real of, shit, bro. not because of you know what I'm saying the shit, the, the funny commentaries which is legendary. It's mm. the man behind the commentaries. That's that's, 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 that's what that's, that's what it's all about, bro. When because we see you it so cry? no, <laughs> <laughs> we see it all the time Gangsta. when I I, I when YouTubers I mm-hmm. get big. Oh, Mm-hmm. When YouTubers get big, they sometimes they forget where they come from. They forget the people that was there before the fame and success. So to always be like, have that mentality like, I'm going to help out those who in need that's been there for me. You know what I'm saying? Whether mm-hmm. we've seen, seen it, I, I, you know, family, we all get into it. But to still be able to have that, that self-awareness, like, I'm going to do this to help you out. You know what I'm saying? When you don't have to, mm-hmm. that's, that's what... I consider a goat, and that's why I keep saying I've been saying it since you've been here. You are a goat, and you've solidified it even more before you even said that. Just on your personality alone, absolutely. And oh, yeah, the, bro. Even now, I just... yeah, I, yeah, I feel comfortable saying, "Chisel the goat." We we are honored to have had you here, bro. Chisel the goat, bro. Chisel the goat, bro. <laughs> chisel, chisel the goat, Adonis. Chisel the goat, Adonis, bro. And you and you deserve your flowers, bro. You deserve no, your you, flowers, you bro. You deserve it, man. Yeah, especially like, as awesome. much as they hate on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Right. especially when it comes so to you. Trying to hate the work ethic. Every, I mean, bro. That's amazing. I bro. pray that more people have that mentality. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's awesome. What I'm saying. That's mm-hmm. why. That's why I say you, you, are, you're a part of the brotherhood now. Oh, for mm-hmm. sure. Don't get tired of us. If you know, yeah, you no, don't mind. not at all. Not at all. Not at all <laughs> you in there now. Not at all. Yeah, man. Like, hey. You've been in there, but yeah. it's different because now we get to see you in your 
raw rawest moment and mm-hmm. like just it's just the truest thing ever and it's like you you That's would only awesome, hope bro. that other people you know try to match that and be mm-hmm. like that you know what i'm saying like you know and bro coming together man it's important uh it's it's so many ways for all of us to win you know we don't have to keep things to ourselves we don't have to keep information hell me and chisel <laughs> we was on the phone the first time we talked mm-hmm. on the phone again mm-hmm. we start getting into tax information yeah mm-hmm. yeah i mean it, it got mm-hmm. you know it got real but i mean it's just just saying that we didn't mind you know sharing that information and it was just like what what's something that you're doing that i probably can take from or what's something that we doing that you probably can take and it ain't no Charge like hey, yeah. man, I'm paying you gotta pay me for this information. Right? It, it ain't on that, bro. It's just hey, whatever game I got is free. Yeah, you, you helping know? that person can help you. That's the craziest mm-hmm. part. That exactly, people rarely understand. It's enough man. room it's, for all of us. Everybody mm-hmm. can grow together. We yeah, are, we all can grow together. Mm-hmm. So you never know what we gonna probably have next clicking up, bro. But nah, that's that's phenomenal. I can't even. That was wait, awesome, bro. bro. I can't wait to see that. That's dope. Uh, as hell, live yep. and in person. Anything big um that you working on right now? Uh, that you trying to do as that far as like incorporate say out loud. Yeah, that yeah, you can yeah. say. <laughs> like, <laughs> ain't trying to spoil well, that. Secret, yeah. Well, well, for one, I mean, movie, getting, I think you was no. Nah, well, 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 <laughs> I don't yeah, know what you was talking about. No, no, that was that was, that was a real Wesley would Snipes. You, would you? But um, what like go, going to a movie? Oh, absolutely. I think because initially, um, a lot of times people have always asked if I wanted to like be a professional commentator. Oh, I'm like, bro. not I, really. I thought about, yeah, yeah, because I since I was a kid, they always say, man, you have a voice that would fit in radio. I'm like, all right, fit in in it. In a in a sense, but I think he would. I think it would give you like too many restrictions. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's, yeah. But the thing why. is that because one of the things with that because vulgarity, I don't have to curse, but yeah. I recognize you can amplify and provide emphasis when you use profanity, Absolutely. and people resonate with that mm-hmm. because usually if you're in a situation where somebody stub on your toe, like you can try to say fudge or stuff like yeah. that, but you know what you really. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Say. I, and I wasn't even ah. speaking just on the uh, yeah. cursing, it, yeah, like profanity in general, mm-hmm. like transgender yeah things like i would i would use because because one of the things that that's when it gets fun for me because i can like i can change the word and i could use a lot of innuendo but then the problem is like for um i think it was was it pat mcafee College it might have been Pat McAfee who said yeah. something, and he was like, "There was a lot of innuendo that yeah, was utilized." Yeah. But then, like, if you know, you know. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. sort of situations, know. yeah, and then they know. So that would be the only that'd be the only um portion of everything that would kind of like mm-hmm. throw me off. Okay. But um, if it was to like get into like acting and stuff like that, I ain't got no problem doing stuff like that. It's no, a, as long as I could still be me, mm-hmm. you know. Sure. Then. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm not going to sell myself out for, for no dollar. It's not yeah. going to happen. Like yeah, nah, I've always said for me, all I need is you give me 40000 after taxes, I could live my life off of that. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, it's not a problem. I'm not so above my needs guy. I don't need yeah. no super chains, none of the same freshest way. clothes. I'm, I'm the same guy. I'm <laughs> cool, man. I'm, <laughs> but you know. you know the dopest thing, having a mentality like that, I feel mm-hmm. like God always provides everything mm-hmm. else that you uh, mm-hmm. want. When you, yeah, when, you, when you take... Uh, when you appreciate what you have, things come to you. It start falling in your lap. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't be trying to do the most to to get everything. Mm-hmm. Like you got a car. Why yeah. you got to go get a car that do all this extra stuff that yeah. you can't even afford? Mm-hmm. You know. But get something that you want. You know, get something that you need, and then you can eventually get what you want. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's the yeah. name of the game. But no, I can I can definitely see you in some movies. Yeah. Um, Facts. Yeah. That, like yeah. That be because pre- I'm Bernie Mac is one of my favorite. Oh, you know, comedians. Mm-hmm. And I and the thing with Bernie and the thing with Bernie is like he can amplify a damn scene like yeah, he'll just yeah. be over here his eyes he know yeah. how to move his body and mm-hmm. for me from when I was a kid I adopted that from watching yeah. and even from wrestling growing up being a rock fan yeah. being a Stone Cold Steve mm-hmm. Austin fan we and just everything was about and this, I've, <laughs> that's where I was able to adopt the importance of catchphrases because yeah. till this day he'll say if you smell you know what's coming he yeah. can say and millions you know and what he's saying of- because the catchphrase people <laughs> hold on doesn't. like yeah. DX so captivating then, like if you say oh I got two words for you you know what Suck. you want to say yeah. so with catchphrase that's why yeah. i'll say hold my nugget you know what comes Suck next and everything <laughs> so for me and one of my biggest goals one thing that i really want to do one thing that i really want to do is i want to get enough i guess i'd have to have clout per se yeah. but i want to get enough clout. Clout. The clout i want to have enough clout, clout to chasing. where i can get onto the um the nba celebrity game right because mm. now they kind of yeah. transition more from like those a solidified like hollywood star Stars yeah. or like child yeah. stars, and they're going towards social, social media. media. Yeah. All yeah. I need is to get onto the roster. Whoever's mic'd up, 
I'm on your ass. <laughs> and if yeah. I'm mic'd up right. myself, yeah. which I doubt, because I'd be on a, like a lower scale, not right. to sell myself short, but I think I'd be on like the. Nah, I'm yeah. one of those guys who's on the roster. Like, who's this person? Yeah. So all I need to know is who is mic'd up. I'm guarding you the whole day. I'm never gonna shut my mouth. <laughs> and the beautiful <laughs> thing is, have I don't. Stand up. And <laughs> I don't right. exactly. And I don't have to say nothing that's out of line. Yeah. I can kill you with positivity. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, oh wow, you have the most beautiful cheekbones I've ever seen in my life. Ooh, that's a steal. You confused? <laughs> and move on with my day. Like, and, and catch Ooh, them in a, a situation where <laughs> a I'm gonna be so stuck in your mind. Right. If you're watching at home you and you keep hearing exactly, you oh, keep yeah. hearing right. somebody talking. Like, who is this person? Yeah. You're gonna forget. Forget about the game. You're going to remember all those sound bites and somebody just chatting all day. So that will probably be able never to take me. Up on defense. Right. Like, this guy hey. never shut up. And he He's never like, said anything mean. I don't even mean. want the ball no more. <laughs> He's like, man, I want to take, taste your mother's cooking. I bet it's amazing. <laughs> She's amazing in the kitchen. What are you talking about? Your father's the you best Uber driver. right now. <laughs> right? Like, what is, what is going on? Are we playing <laughs> basketball? Right? So he's he's showering me with positivity. <laughs> hey, man. Ref, it's, ain't this a tech? Right? Right? It's a very tech, large right? Technical way. He's, he's being nice. Like, ref, <laughs> you're, the most, you're the most beautiful ref I've ever seen in my life. You no me? I never considered once if you worked at Foot Locker. He's going to give you all the fouls. Yeah, probably. Hey. <laughs> you good. You good. Right? Now, only you can think of something like that. Yeah, man. That's, 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 like, but, hey, that's, taking, uh, <laughs> that's taking advantage of all the opportunities. Yeah. Like, yeah, because you never, you never know who's watching. You never know who's Actuals. listening. That's because a lot of times people are like, oh, man, if I have a great performance or all this other stuff, there's, there's more that goes into it. Yeah. Because there's a lot of times where, let's say if you, because I remember when I was on, um, last time I was on stage, I was doing stand-up back in uh, 20, right before the pandemic had started. Mm -hmm. And I remember the going into the show, and we were just all cool and having a good time. The conversation that I had with the audience before we even started the show, where I was just going around, just talking to people and all this other stuff, they were more in tune with when I finally got on stage because they felt like, oh, well, we built a rapport. Because yeah. yeah. before, you ain't know who the hell I was. Yeah. But then I'm over here just you know different. having conversation and whatever. Oh, wow, welcome to the show and everything. It wasn't even really, it was my show. I'm just on the show. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, man, I'm here. Show don't start for 40 minutes. Might, Might as well, well speak you know, yeah. to somebody. Oh, this person looks interesting. Where'd you get that shirt? I'd love to have a shirt like that. It's amazing. What size is that? It's my size. Give me the shirt. So, you know, just have regular <laughs> conversations and, <laughs> you know, go back and forth. But, yeah, man. But to answer the, um, the original question about, like, what's coming up, um, the NFL commentary. That's the, that's the yeah, because yeah. initially, a lot of people wanted me to do preseason. I said, yeah. you know what? I'm going to make the people wait. Yeah, yeah. I'll make a wait because yeah. preseason now it's a what's the new word on uh, 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 mid it's like the <laughs> battle of the mid <laughs> battle exactly of the mid it's like after the first battle series is done it's like come on man what, what what's going right. on over here this person just a camp body we're watching yeah. a practice so, squad boy so right. what, I'm, what I'm gonna do is just you know when the um when the NFL season start then bam people gonna be waiting on that oh yeah, yeah. You oh man know. that's that's a hey, that's dope and it give you time to you know. Uh, rest mm -hmm. yeah. a little bit and yeah. prepare. You got a whole bunch of hearing weeks. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, three videos are dedicated, oh, probably three videos over 20 minutes a week. <laughs> what does that look like when it's time to record? You just shut the door, shut everybody out. Oh, like, everything's oh, shut. Everything's yeah. shut. And it was brutal when my, like, my, my parents, they come home from church. And then they just, they, obviously, I'm not going to tell you, hey, don't make no noise. Right. It's your house. Like, come <laughs> on now. But um, what I what I have to do is just um tune out everything. Like, my phone, put it on Don't Disturb mm -hmm. or whatever. Put it in a whole different room or something. And yeah. I'm just sitting here and I'm locked in. Whew. Bro, that's, that's that is crazy. Dedication. Well, Hard work. now when we it's check patience. out... Uh, uh, week one, you definitely know we're going to check it out. We'll have an even course. greater understanding of oh, bro, the, all the clips that he got for week one. Because you know it's going to be crazy. The oh. cool thing I, for me is I, I understood it took a while, but hearing it out loud yeah. makes you respect it even more. Like, yeah. you, you're like, damn. Like, now I'm just, now this is even funnier Funny. to me. Like, yeah. This mm -hmm. is way funnier because I'm like, he's sitting here. I know how he's probably looking right now, working right now, live yeah. commentating mm -hmm. and stuff right now. Like, I, I can picture it now. And was it behind the scenes? And, and you know what's interesting is, oftentimes when people are doing a lot of like it's it's a hard work, right? And you're yeah. really going hard. Sometimes people don't enjoy it. I enjoy oh, every right. second enjoy of it, because there's times yeah. in which I'm saying something and you can hear my voice crack because yeah. I'm about to laugh. There's yeah. been times in which I've been recording because the first season, what's different from on the 2017 season from every other season. Back then, I didn't know how to edit anything. I yeah. would just put like the clips. I'd line all the clips together and I would just grab the mic. I would record and straight until I couldn't speak, you know, or I had to take a breath or whatever. Yeah. So then there were moments in which I'm 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 recording and then I would put the mic down. 
that was, that was some funny shit right there. I, so that, and I just move on <laughs> with the rest of what I had to do, right. you know? And then um, before I found a, um, a website, like I was saying um, before, but like before I had found a website to download the full game, I mm. would have to screen record. So, yeah. and don't for like the prime time or the Thursday night football or when we get to the playoffs, primarily in the playoffs, I would download the entire game, like screen record off of a live stream because I didn't yeah. have like the app. The all 22? Yeah, uh, um, no, 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 not even all 22. I would have to go through like piracy sites. Oh. So I'm like, oh, sitting over here, I got a, got a virus damn. on this damn computer, but I'm screen recording <laughs> and then I have to upload it to Gmail or um, upload it unlisted on YouTube, download the entire game file, then cut it up once more and then go ahead and, and, and it's like an eight Damn. hour process, eight, God 15 damn. hour process to try to get the playoff games. And remember, I'm still trying to post the playoff games before the other game is over. Yeah. So like the first wild card game start at 1 p.m. on the East Coast. I got to watch that entire game. Once that game is done, I immediately start yeah. recording so I can get that video done that night. And then the that's other game crazy. that's playing, that's it. Because now they got three games on, on in the in the mm-hmm. wild card, so it becomes difficult. But I try to. I'm like, all right, I got a window between Saturday night and Tuesday. I got to have all six games <laughs> put up. So that Sunday, man, I'm recording three videos. Then that Monday, I'm recording two, Damn. and then. Now that they got a Monday Night Football uh, um, playoff game, then that Tuesday is just dedicated to that last game. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see you getting somebody eventually that's going to be able to do all that for you. Yeah, yeah probably. Because, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm a one-man team across yeah, the board. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, I appreciate the fact I got a whole, like, structure. I got a system. And it's a well-oiled machine that you got. Like, this is very inspiring. If I want to give you guys that. your flowers before we done. Because you're not going to leave here without me giving no flowers. <laughs> but, you know, even even with the – like, you see the man, I got that from Will Smith. With, like, you know, when he was in um, Fresh Prince. <laughs> I don't really mess with Will Smith too much now, but you know, um, he has a problem with comedians. Uh, but you, with, with, um, with, with with how everything is recorded, and then when playoffs come, I'm like, yo, I gotta amplify, you know, the funny to take it to another level. Like the yeah. 2020, oh, that man. 2020 playoff, truly, in my opinion, I, I think that was my best work because every single video, bang, and I'm, I made a promise to myself. I said that, and then the national championship, I'm gonna yeah. need those. 14 videos to be on a different level. And when I got to the Super Bowl, every single Super Bowl since 52 when I first started, I'm like, this got to be the funniest one of the season. Mm -hmm. So what? how can I incorporate stuff? So I would start using like the National Anthem. When I did um, 53 and Demi Lovato was singing, and I put the Stephen A. clip up, and it's sung by somebody (laughs) who's on crack. (laughs) And nobody. if you're watching the highlights, you're like, who's... Why? Exactly. <laughs> but I try to I incorporate the people in the crowd. The first, yeah. you know, so you just man, like, oh, cr- what? And don't let something happen and get caught on camera. Like with the fans, if they got, I remember in Minnesota, it was I think it was seventeen degrees. Nobody is 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 warm. But they had these three ginormous human beings. These dudes just shirtless. They yeah. shaking their bellies. Uh, I'm like, man, I got to do something with, with with them. When um Lamar Jackson, the Monday Night Football game, when um the the um the Browns and the Ravens went at war, mm. and Lamar left the game, and people thought he was hurt. He really just went to go use the bathroom, yeah, 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 and then he yeah, came yeah, out yeah. and put the Stone yeah. Cold Steve I Austin remember, song and everything, man. <laughs> And now, or or the uh, the 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 brawl, the Pittsburgh. (laughs) Oh yeah, yeah, oh Oh, yeah, (laughs) bro. That's one of them videos where. Me and when me and Ross saw it, we was like, bro, Chisel is gonna have it's the a gong field of the helmet. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah with the Mason Rudolph. Oh, my oh, like, god, gong, gong, <laughs> gong, yeah. oh, and god. hit him on. in the top of the head, turn him into a whack a mole. <laughs> for real, one thing I, I think you could do with mm. this preseason, well. Well, off season, preseason is the the team practices like the mm-hmm. joint practices because yeah. all of them are fighting. Yeah, they all yeah. They, yeah, they, they all yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I saw Carolina. They somebody got bam to the floor. Yeah. I'm like, oh they wait a minute. Yo, oh yeah, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I heard yeah. that. I thought it was a player at first. Yeah, I did see it was a fan. Every single yeah. joint Literally. practice have, has had a fight. Man. That's the only reason like the Texans supposedly not doing. That's what Nick Casario. You like, well, we're not trying to have people fighting. <laughs> yeah, 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 man, you can't avoid it. Everybody's fighting right now. So now they're just gonna be brewing it for the first week of the season. It's gonna be a bad time. Like, mm. Why are they fighting now? Oh, they never got it out of them during the whole season. <laughs> fighting. Oh, shit, yeah, man. man. That's crazy, bro. And t- man, it, I'm mind boggled, bro. Just the process mm-hmm. and, yeah. and everything. I mean, bro, that 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 dedication, bro, that's that's it's something real. else. And it's like, people, I hope y'all appreciate that, man, mm-hmm. because it's a lot of work. Um, and it just shows you nothing worth having is easily 
uh, given to you. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta fight for what you want, and yeah. you fight to entertain. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. that's a gift. You know, not a lot of people can do that, but. You've been entertaining us since you landed. Yeah, here. Man, right. I appreciate, you know, I appreciate that, man. It's been a, a mutual uh, a fun, mm-hmm. and um, so I'm I'm claiming movies. Mm-hmm. You know, because I definitely want to see my boy in a movie. Even hell, even if I'm shooting it, you know. Hey, you hey, know, I'm, you know. I'm I'm all for it. There ain't no problem. There ain't no problem. <laughs> Speaking it, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, how about a, a special? One day mm. you you ever thinking about? Oh yeah, that, yeah, like yeah. On the the, the goal. Mm-hmm. List? So what is your goal list? Yeah, right so now? yeah, so 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 the end the end game for for all of this is is sell out Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and just whether I don't know how to make it, you know, translate and all this. Obviously, I'd love to be. And I looked at it. I had a target to where I looked. I said, man, you know, there's been a number of people, not a lot, but mm-hmm. a, of all of the comedians in the world who's ever done stand up, it's like a, I think un, maybe about like fifty. And I think I may be overshooting it who have ever sold out the garden. But then I kind of I I was able to make another sub, you know, um, target as well, where nobody who is social media has done it. Yeah. Probably if there's anybody who would make it there, it maybe be like Andrew Schultz, who would probably be like the number of okay. everybody who has this. But yeah. he was already doing stand up before when he got on Guy Code and then yeah, getting true, on true. everything. So he wouldn't necessarily count, whatever. But people who came up during the social media age, who started their career during the social media age and have a strong social media presence, no, none of them have, have, you know, are at selling out the garden yet. Yeah. So I would love to be the first. But even if I'm not the first, I want the end game got to be sell out the garden. That's mm-hmm. that's where it's at. That's awesome, and then bro. you know have comedy specials and things like that and really grow. But I recognize with the, where the attention is now, mm-hmm. where it's primarily social media. So you you know you make a killing over there, grow your um demand because right. yeah. why put the power in you know a producer to try to get the people in the room? No, if I build my own demand, yeah. I can bring the people in my room myself. Yeah, so exactly. knock out the middleman. That's, so that's the um that's one of the game. things where you know that that that's the that's the end goal. But mm-hmm. I mean right now it's you know, get to a million. Yeah. You know, subscribers yeah, 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 yeah. and, you know, make that happen, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, y'all already know what to do, man. Make sure y'all go to this channel and, and do that right now. Why are you watching the pod? You know, Absolutely. Open up another tab, go, you know, if, wherever you listen to this, make sure you go to YouTube right now. Chisel Adonis, man. Uh, couldn't wait to get him out here, man. Mm-hmm. I, I can't end without us talking about the bad boys of mm. YouTube. Ah, oh, man. Lovely, the bad boys lovely, of YouTube. Lovely community guidelines. <laughs> or community blind lines is what we like to call them. Of YouTube, um, how are we now with it? Are you are you free? Um, are you still dealing with any issues? Oh, I got one. I got one. one. I got one. Um, active community guidelines strike right, that they gave me for um a story that I posted on my story. Really? Yeah, yeah. They had taken it down the story. They said it was um child safety. You know, it violated child safety. A there was story. not a kid. There was in a kid in sight. But I'm sitting here like, man, I don't. Want to it was, and what's funny was it was a video where um there's a, there's a dude who's sliding down an escalator mm-hmm. right and then he hits he like he bumps off of stuff and he pretty much it's like one of those fail kind of yeah, videos. Yeah. but what didn't make no sense is for one i don't understand how this could have been violating child safety because right. it's not a kid and then on top of that the same video was up on youtube mm-hmm. and it was age restricted so mm-hmm. if it's age restricted yes. you reviewed it mm-hmm. and said oh maybe it's just for mature audiences only yeah. which still made no sense because it wasn't something that a kid couldn't see yeah. so when i was making my appeal and i had told you guys where i put a 800 I, they only give you 800 characters mm-hmm. i actually typed out all 800 characters to where i gave you a detailed response i link the other I was damn near dry snitching I linked the other <laughs> videos like yo they're up over here and this one has an age restriction so you said it was clear to go over there they're like yeah you know we um and within 18 seconds they responded like damn. there's no way you reading 800 characters in 18 yeah, seconds right. and processing it yeah. it's one thing to read it it's another thing to process it because I gave you links to different videos there's no way you open that they immediately responded and said yeah we've reviewed it but uh, um, we said we believe our claim stands yeah. or whatever so then yeah. I was blocked for a week and then I got a strike on there until I believe October 17th that sounds just about you too yep I'm just trying just to tell you YouTube. bro we've been dealing with that we've damn near been having uh, two strikes since last year, mm-hmm. almost like November, mm. and I mean we've been going after you know from time and time. And the reason why I brought it up was because one thing I like is that you don't let that stop you. Yeah, you know, like man, it actually turned into a comedy thing for it you. Really did. You, you was saying that you was uh, blocked on Linktree. Yeah, I got blocked and on Linktree. That was I so never random. knew. Was, mm-hmm. Just like you said, I never knew anybody can get blocked on Linktree. Like, what do you like? 
<laughs> posting links like, hey, check me out over <laughs> like here. How? Oh, word, not anymore. Oh, he's got some yeah. violent links there. Like, like how do man, you I don't on? like the They're way the vulgar. HTTPS is right. looking, man. <laughs> what? You said dot .com. We're dot .net over here. Right. Get him out of here. The slashes. <laughs> not four slashes. It's definitely the slashes. Slashes right? is backwards. But no, I was like, and then it went from that to. Dude, you got on Pornhub. Yeah, yeah. upload commentary. That was the funniest shit. That, ever. that was funny. Do people actually comment? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. how was it? Like, were people actually going <laughs> looking for one thing else, and then? No, Yo, I've had, had a few. I had a few. Like there was one. I, I when I did the um the reaction to how what is her name? What is her name? Kazumi was, Squirts. Like when she she was the, the the girl who was talking about. Yeah, I was getting gang banged by fifty guys, fifty mm-hmm. black guys a day. I'm like, what? Excuse me. Yeah, what, Kazumi, what, what was that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then I I ended up uploading that when it got 500,000 views wow. on Pornhub. Yeah. So I'm saying, like, yo, I got half a mil on Pornhub. People was like, yo, I'm looking for this guy. I came here to beat off and I left with a laugh. This weird. <laughs> you know? I'm a subscribe. I had, uh, and I was, the goal, <laughs> the only reason why I decided, you know, get on the hub. <laughs> Imagine you was, just got the lotion exactly. ready. Exactly. And you ready. You got your, you you got your like, Johnson out and then, See, oh, right. you put it back. Oh, this shit. Right, it's kind of funny. This shit right? funny. Hold oh. on. Late like, at night, three in the morning. That, that, God damn. You, you, stopped, you, like, you stopped the mass murder. Yeah, you probably, did. Man, probably, man, probably porn hub, bro. Pornhub's up top. Right. You laughing on Pornhub. Yeah, man, they went from Save incognito to the regular tag yeah. just so they could go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> like, that's probably what happened. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, man, you know, you're able to actually get like new viewers and all this other stuff into it. But then uh, the only reason why I got on there was I'm like, man, I'm getting blocked everywhere. They yeah. surely don't won't block me over there. And then when I found out when I had made the account, because I never had an account, mm-hmm. and then I figured, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. They they have rewards on here. They have awards. So when mm-hmm. you get to fifty thousand subscribers on, on the hub, they'll give you a custom jacket. So I said, Oh, oh now I have a way to get people to not only, you know, go over there for the shits and giggles, <laughs> but now you can actually help somebody get recognized. Because right. how funny would it be that you helped me <laughs> get enough subscribers to where I get a custom jacket so you force them to acknowledge me. As yeah, well. right, 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 right. So <laughs> I was, I was well on my way. I think I had like 1,300 you know, subscribers on there and then for whatever reason, they're like, yeah, we got to shut this dude down. He's That's too funny crazy. on here. We are not here for <laughs> comedy. Yeah, we're not, <laughs> we are not here for comedy. We're here Bringing for something the wrong else community that starts here. with a C. <laughs> That's right, that was oh, crazy, man. Making people laugh over here, right? Wrong? And and that just added, that was just another one added. When I seen that with the porn hub, I'm like, bro, how how is that possible? Porn hub, I'm like, like porn but hub. And the link tree still takes the cake. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's by far Instagram, number one for me. Then, then, been messing with you. Yeah. Um, TikTok, you shadow uh, ban. Yeah, yeah. I'm shot like oh, when, when they was googling, uh, but googling when they were searching me, they were trying to tag me. So they're like, "Yo, I'm, I can't find your name." Yeah. And then even uh, I, I think it was um, your uncle who had uh, when we was at the uh, I mean he was uh, the dark skin brother. I forget his name, but then he had said he was trying to find my my um, page on IG, and then. I typed typed in the entire name. I'm at the bottom. Like they got like a couple of different people who made like yes. burners or something made, and they have other people. Mm-hmm. Like there was some um, Chinese account who had like chiseled in their name. Yeah. I'm all the yeah. way at the bottom, yeah. but still, regardless of all that, I'm still gonna keep hustling. I'm still gonna keep running. Like right now, with um, they started sh- um ru- um bringing out money for reels, mm-hmm. yeah. and they paying people for reels and stuff. Yeah. My monetization is frozen until November because I violated community guidelines mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. Now they start, they implemented a new reviewing system that I got to pretty much go and refute all maybe hundreds that I have throughout all wow. of the years. But the problem that I have with it is like they, anything, they can just say, oh, well, this is nudity. Yeah. And there was a girl, there was a, um, a fail where a girl, she did a backflip in the bleachers and she fell flat on her face and got up and tried to play it off. It's four seconds. And then after that, I just have a clip of me laughing. They said it had nudity. I'm like, where's the nudity? She's fully clothed. Right. She, she face planted and got up and, and played Your it off. Your face didn't have a cover right? on it. They're, they're like, it's, yeah, probably. We could, we could see her skin. Yeah. If it was an exoskeleton or something, it would be perfectly fine. Right. But whatever the, the case was, I mean, it was, it was ridiculous. Cheeks. And they, they took it down and then they, they said, yeah, you know, you, um, you violated the um, com- community guideline or whatever. I'm That's like, crazy. fam, what are you talking? talking about it's you know just yeah wow. so i can't i can't get a, a dollar off of a reel i never even got a dollar from a reel before right. until november and then even at that it's three months four months from now so it's so a possibility crazy. i could pick up another one so that's crazy bro but and all in all you still pushing through yeah mm-hmm. and that's the point of all that you know for people that don't know 
how much trouble. And I mean, we used to see it on trip. I'm like, damn, why they keep messing with him so much? Yeah. yeah. And I guess we got too involved because mm. oh, yeah, yeah, it's all the game. Start what? messing with you, you niggas. All <laughs> right. You can't go after them now. You reacted to who? <laughs> Oh, let, me, let me review your channel. Let's see. Right? Yeah, that's exactly. We start getting goddamn strikes. I'm like, hey, man, we uh, we locked up with Chisels. Like, what's good, bro? Yeah. How long you been in here? You been in here for a while? Yeah. Right. That's why. That's what sparked the um the prison uh little. Skit oh yeah, we did. yeah, 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 um, yeah, man. Where we you we know, know we was gonna keep going back to jail. Mm -hmm. man. Yeah. <laughs> God go damn. Repeat offenders. It stayed, bro. Bro, we stayed, right. bro, for <laughs> almost a year and a half, man. And so. it's like they just kept on picking at us, bro. And yeah, people don't understand bro. that. Like, you know, that's why the, the goal is to always not only create a community um, mm -hmm. to, to just show content to, but it's to, you know, have people follow us into other yeah. platforms and stuff like that. So that way, whenever YouTube's we do YouTube's not the be all end all. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know. You, know, you, can, you can definitely uh, expound into other avenues or whatnot. And, you know, like you were saying, once you get that fan base, bro, you that loyal that, bro. fan base that don't give a damn about – People trying to cancel other people, bro. When you got those loyal fans that will support you wherever you go, you straight. You straight. Nah, Especially if you they can sense the genuineness in you. You don't you know what I'm saying? They'll they'll rock with you until the end. Mm -hmm. Till the wheels fall off. And and I feel like Chisels uh fans and supporters, uh, you know, I don't even like to call them fans. Yep. Family. Yep. Chisels family. family. Uh, the Clutch Squad family, mm -hmm. you guys rock with us, and y'all kept us going through the trials and tribulations that we be dealing with when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to Instagram. Y'all yeah. show us love, y'all. Hey, y'all hit up his Patreon. Y'all hit up our Patreon. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all go to his live streams and support him there. And the same here. So we we just collectively want to say. We thank you guys. We appreciate you guys. And we do this to entertain you guys, to uplift y'all and, and keep that positivity that's that we need within the YouTube community, especially among black creators, bro. Like, For we, sure. we want to change the narrative that we're all about negativity. No, we have fun. We like to joke. We like to crack jokes on each other and, and enjoy life, bro, because life right. is very short. So that way, you know what I'm saying, we can – be able to be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? They doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. now let's let, let, let us, you know, let me see if I can come up yep. so, with something. You know, let me see if I can do something because they got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I don't know how many times we've seen people say, y'all like a family, bro. When I'm yeah. watching stuff with y'all, mm -hmm. I feel like we homies. And that's the goal. That's the end goal. Thanks. And uh, Chisel, bro, we appreciate you we do, bro. Absolutely. coming all the way yeah, down thank here. You, thank you. I appreciate that. Man. I appreciate that. We appreciate and, you, and, bro. And before we, before we go, cause I, did, I, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, overlook giving you guys, you know, your flowers as well. Because first, starting with you, Steve, because your name's not, it's Sir Dance a lot for no reason. His brother, <laughs> his brother will pop and lock anywhere, moves. anytime. There's music on. Hell, acapella, he is dancing. Yeah. But <laughs> even on your on your page, you got a son, right? You got, you, yeah, you, you show positive image between you, your family, and things like that. People, people, they overlook how important you know fatherhood is, you know, mm -hmm. right. especially black fatherhood. So I just wanted sure. to say to you, man, I appreciate what it is that you're doing as well, because people will think, oh man, you know, someone on small scale. Oh no, 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 anything helps with the image, yep. and it's a beautiful mm -hmm. thing I to see. That. It's true, it's a beautiful thing to see. And then for you, Dub, like I said earlier, man, you, with, with what you got going on with your family and everything like that, and then running a business, having mm -hmm. you having the foresight for where the channel could go, yeah. and how you know you can get people to really live, you know, what, what it is that y'all got going on, building this stuff, and then everything, from whether it's reactions to the short plays, everything. It's a beautiful, amazing to see. Mm -hmm. And it's really inspiring, especially from the relationship aspect, because yeah. again, it's not even just like positive black fatherhood, positive black motherhood, black, positive black family, mm -hmm. you know, a healthy marriage, working yeah. together. Yeah. That's what it's all about. And then even with you, Ross, what you got going on from a personal, you know, page standpoint, then being it, you'd like the number one, you know, reaction from, from a black standpoint yeah. with um wrestling reaction. And then to see so. what you've overcome, because you all dealt with adversity, mm -hmm. because with the passing of your grandmother and still mm -hmm. honoring her, you yeah. about to get to 100,000 before the summer over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can hold that plaque in the air. You made granny proud yeah, you know yes, sir. and this is this is what it's all about man y'all was able to get this far and continue to work and continue to grind and y'all gonna leave a legacy that yeah. nobody could ever take away from y'all man when people mm -hmm. think of h-town they're gonna think of in the clutch they're gonna think of y'all hey man 
And this is what it's all about, man. This is what it's all about, man. Oh, man. So I'm happy to be here. Hey, y'all have to have me the on the way, man. man. Yeah, man. <laughs> we tired of the negative images of us, man. It's time to get the positive in yeah. yeah. Absolutely, you know, man. I'm older now, so I got a more emotional. You know, <laughs> older I that, swear, man, bro. So. I just be yeah. watering. I got to look sideways. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I really appreciate them words, bro. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. man. Real. Thank Big you. facts. No, Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. You know, when you working, you don't have time to sit down there and, mm-hmm. and look at your own flowers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. What I'm saying nobody really do that, and I'm not telling people to, you know, start acknowledging me all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. It's, it's Acknowledge good. me. It's, <laughs> it's good to know people see, you know, what Not you facts. really mean by the work that you put out there, mm-hmm. the stuff mm-hmm. you produce. So, um, it's it's much love, man. For sure, bro. And, and chiseled. Yes, all, the sir. door is mm-hmm. always open. Always, always. Yeah, whenever absolutely. you come to absolutely. Houston, bro, or, you know, whenever, wherever we at. That's our mm-hmm. New York family. The door, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. the door is open, bro. Like, we, we you committed now. You yeah, oh, yeah, I'm in there. I'm you in there. You saying? locked in. Yeah, yeah. you locked. Yeah. You, you gotta get there. jumped out. Or oh, as you <laughs> say, I'm in the clutch. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 sir. Yeah. But now, uh, before we get up out of here, man. I need you to tell me who are you who you are again? How do you do the beginning? Of the oh, intro? yeah, the uh diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical individual, the chisel the dot. Bro, yes, that sir. Shit. That shit is so tough. We're gonna so end it on tough. that. Uh, it's that no. New York in that vein. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Episode 82, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this one, yeah, man. This is a definite watch, man. Yeah. Make sure you kick back get your popcorn all i hope you really enjoyed this episode man you got a piece of real funny everything you know what i'm saying so again make sure y'all go to chisel adonis youtube channel instagram Mm -hmm. wherever he is make sure y'all go support the homie man you got a good person right here that's putting some real dope energy out into the world yes sir spread love ladies and gentlemen and always be that same love you spreading we out peace out i'm in the club they already know me